From some useful tips and tricks you'll need to know in Minecraft 1.19, to some interesting gear packs that make Axolotl's buff, and even a few cool player made creations along the way, I am the Derpy World and this is your daily dose of Minecraft. If you enjoy the series, please make sure to leave a like and comment, it really does support the show. To get your videos and clips featured, post on our Reddit, link can be found on our pinned comment. Thank you. For our first clip, this player needs your help, viewer. He has no clue and I don't know either what killed him here. Do you? Maybe his character had a heart attack or something and just gave up. Enjoy this stop motion made by Catch Impossible. It must have taken him ages to create this. The guards do be vibing though. Tony Zip Z1 made a portal to a trap with command blocks, and this is 100% vanilla, he didn't have any mods on this. And I'm always amazed what players can do with just commands and functions in-game. This is a light field display made out of 16,384 maps in item frames and I'm lagging just looking at this. Like he must have a pretty good PC if he's recording and running these maps at the same time. Alistair made a little fire exit sign design. If you guys want to use this design, I have the copy and paste in the description for you. Remember this little trick when you're next transporting a villager. Do be careful though, because sometimes the fall damage does matter, so you have to be pretty careful with it. Fevin Sen1412 is showing us a sneak peek of the minigame he has been working on. He asks us do we want to see more, and well I do, but let me know in the comments if you are particularly interested in this project, and then I'll feature any new updates. Real DSF created this simple button hell pattern. I can hear the laptop Minecraft players fans already spinning up for this one. The arrows are kind of satisfying to watch too. This is how you can actually loot an ancient city without summoning the warden. Now you can steal without punishment in Minecraft, what a great life lesson, but I didn't teach you this. Manny Manny 2 showing us a nice way to display your hostile mobs, and you just have to remember to feed them every so often. The Reddit guy showing us a flying machine piston door with no exposed redstone or slime block. You should definitely go check him out if you're interested in this kind of thing. He has a lot of cool projects on his page. The buff Ataloxel isn't real guys, he can't hurt you. Oh wait, never mind, I was wrong this whole time. He is real and he can hurt you.
awesome speed Cuba and his friend discovered a rather fun trick. Male fishing bus spent two to three weeks draining and mining out all the way down to Y0, and this is the end result. At the end, he ended up with 174 shulker boxes of cobblestone, 12 shulker boxes of gravel, 4 boxes of copper, and 12 boxes of iron. Not bad. Cap Sweet showing us you can actually break your end portal by throwing an ender pearl into a end crystal, and then sometimes the explosion is enough to break the portal. I'm not sure why though. Now this is a cool idea, using skulk sensors and the horn to make a door that opens up when the goat horn is used. There's a lot of style points in this one. Dong Zeke Puyanta, I've butchered your name, apologies about that, used the current RGB map art trend and made this Polish cow dance. I think the song however is copyrighted, and I, which is a shame because I actually love that song. It is probably the most pointless way to quickly destroy your shield. Is there even a use for this? Probably not. But now you know it's in the game. Define Dobby has been working on a custom NPC pathfinding script for his personaloid project. In this video, he's testing the bot's ladder pathfinding abilities, and well, it worked really well. AI is a scary thing, man. It starts off with these Minecraft bots, and then it ends up with them taking over the world. Dante19 is making his own souls inspired map in Minecraft, and this is how the final area looks like. Actually, some incredible work on this. My opponent probably thought I was a bot because of how bad my bow skills were that he let me knight him. Wow, we made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it, right? Please make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to support the show, and consider sharing it out to friends and family. I have two more videos on screen I think you'll enjoy, and as always, thank you for watching.